during the 1930s, when you were working a lot with German patients, you did, I believe, forecast that uh, a, a Second World War was very likely. Well, now, looking at the world today, do you feel that the Third World War is likely? Uh, I have no definite indications in that respect. But there are so many indications that one doesn't know what one sees. Is it trees or is it the wood? It's very difficult to say uh, because the, the dreams of uh, people's dreams contain apprehensions, you know. But it is very difficult to say uh, whether they point to a war because that idea is uppermost in people's mind. Formerly, you know, it has been much simpler. People didn't think of a war. And therefore, it was rather clear what the dreams meant. Nowadays, no more so. We are so full of apprehensions, fears, that one doesn't know exactly to what it points. One thing is sure, a great change of our psychological attitude is imminent. That is certain. And why? Because we need more. We need more psychology. We need more understanding of human nature because the only real danger that exists is man himself. He is the great danger. And we are pitifully unaware of it. We know nothing of man. Far too little. His psyche should be studied because we are the origin of all coming evil. Does man, do you think, need to have the concept of sin and evil to live with? Is this part of our nature? Well, obviously. And of a redeemer? That is a, an inevitable consequence. This is not a, a concept which will disappear as we become more rational. It's something... Well, I don't believe that man ever will uh, deviate uh, from the original pattern of his being. There will always be such ideas. For instance, if you do not directly believe in a personal redeemer, as it was the case with Hitler, or uh, the hero worship in Russia, uh, then it is an idea. It is a, uh, a symbolic idea.